Axel has a group of functions that end in if or ifs, plural, and they are statistical functions. In the previous video, we covered if versions. In this one, we will cover ifs. If you were trying to locate these functions on the formulas tab, it will not be easy to find. You would assume to find them in statistical uh, tab. However, this statistical tab is not so easy to find, and that surprises some people. What would not be surprised is to support this channel by liking the video and subscribing to it. Now, to find these functions, you need to go to more functions, and that's where you find statistical functions for average if and count ifs. To find the sum if, you need to go to maths and trigonometry. The main difference between the if version of functions and the ifs versions is ability to have multiple criteria set for ifs. So let's go back to our example. So in our case, we can bring in a little bit more granularity to our data and get more information. We can differentiate data also by gender, for example, or any other thing. Let's try to make a list to select different genders. Click on data, click on the data validation. In validation criteria, select list and select the source of your list. You can make it in other tab or make a small list and then select it. In our case, we have all these three different uh, gender statuses all in one. So we have all three options available and press OK. When we want to select one of these uh, options, we can do it. The sum ifs will help us to get sum of composition per status and per gender. Count ifs will help us with the count of how many employees are of each status and also gender. Average ifs will help us to see what are the average salaries per each status and gender combined. Now let's see how they are done. Let's first start with sum ifs. Again, we need to create, uh, we need to select some range. That's our composition. Now select criteria range one. That can be the status criteria for this range. And now we can do the same criteria range two would be gender and our criteria for criteria range two would be female. What I'm going to do as well is press F4 to lock this field and you will see why. Now I will scroll this down and copy these to other fields as well. You can see that uh, full-time females are earning 971,000. But we can also change now for males and for other. Now let's do the same for count ifs. We want to see how many employees are working full time. And we also want them to see how many employees are of certain gender at the same time. and copy to other cells. So in this case, we can see that there is 18 female employees that work full time, four that work half time and so on. We can see that there are 10 males working full time and other is two. What about averages? average range, that's composition. We are interested to know what are the average compositions. Criteria search one, that would be full-time and criteria is full-time. Then second range is gender and we select our list. Press enter and scroll this down. 
So we can see that out of our full-time employees, females are making $971,000. There is 18 of them and average salary is $53,000. For males, they make $755,000. There's 10 of them and average salary is $75,000. And for other, they make $100,000. There's two of them and they make 50,000 each. We got this error message here. How can we fix the error messages? Let's cover that as well. You can add additional function in front called if error. And then leave this whole function you have already. Type in whatever you want. Uh, as a text in quotes as a feedback from your error. These are all practical tools when you're trying to analyze data from a list and let me know down in comment if you will be using them. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel not to miss future videos. See you in the next one.